This box contains a lot of games. <laughs> I've took it upon myself to look up some value on some video games and wow that is a lot of games some of these are complete some of them are not but let's take out the first one we have 2007 first contact ghost recon 2 tom clancy's ghost recon 2 and this one is not complete but that's okay I'm gonna check the value on this game because I'm thinking of taking these to some of my local taking these to some of these games to my local game store to see if I can get some money out of them. Here we have Time Crisis, Crisis Zone. This game is also not complete. But I think this game actually still has some value. I don't know. Here we have Devil May Cry. And this is complete. Part of a set, not for individual return or exchange. Huh. So I guess this was part of the Devil May Cry set. Hmm. And what will we have without Devil May Cry for Devil May Cry 2? Unfortunately, the box does have a lot of stickers, but I think I might be able to get those off with some Gugon, maybe. And this is a two-disc game. I did not know that. It is complete. I will include these two games in a lot. This game is also not worth much. It's Mojo. The game is apparently kind of sealed. No, not really. <laughs> it is complete. I just saw the stickers on it. True Crime Streets of LA. These are all PlayStation 2 games, by the way. And it is complete. Let me check the disc real quick, see what the condition of these are. There are some light scratches, but according to the seller, these are in good condition. Juiced, a racing game. It's rated for lyrics, mild language, and simulated gambling. <laughs> when that, back then when that was a thing. It's complete. The case is a little dirty. The game's also not worth much. Speaking of not being worth much, there is a Avatar the Last Airbender game that is worth a lot. It's called like Into the Inferno or something like that. I'm discovering that by looking this game up at all. It's definitely complete. It comes with this little Nick guide. How cool is that? Creature of the Krusty Krab. Battle for Volcano Island. And Barnyard. I remember when that was a thing. <laughs> but that's really cool to see. Uh, childhood. Ultimate Board Game Collection. And it is complete. This game also isn't worth that much, so I might consider, you know, sending this into my local game store. I have to fix that. <laughs> now here is a game that I'll definitely sell. Shadow the Hedgehog. Guys, this game is stupid fun. It's complete. I actually really love this game. <laughs> but I'm not going to keep it because I already have it. Here we have Barbarian. And it is complete. Namco Museum. Featuring Pac-Man, Pac-Man Arena, or something like that. Galaga oh, Arrangement. Pac-Man Arrangement, Galaga Arrangement, Galaga Dick Dug, Dick Dug Arrangement, Miss Pac-Man, Galaxium, and then Pole Position 1 and 2. And then it is complete. I'll give you guys what I paid for and the value at the end of the videos. There is oh, some marker on here. Someone paid 12 bucks for this game. Driver, the three, and it is complete. I'll have to clean some of these up before sending them to my local game store or selling them. DreamWorks Madagascar, the video game. 
<laughs> and this complete. I like the movie, not so much the video game. I think this one has some value. It's 25 to life. Uh oh. Oh no. It's missing a disc? Excuse me? Um, seller? You said these games were complete? This game is missing a disc. Is it in here? Well, let's hope, because that is not good. That decreases the value. Oh no. That's a definite series of unfortunate events. <laughs> this was, I'm not kidding, this was the next game. This game is also not worth much, it's like six bucks. And it is complete. I'm not sure if my local game store cares if these games are complete or not. I know GameStop does not. This game is also not really worth much at Silicon 2. US Navy Seals. It's complete. Here we have Army Men Green Rogue. Man, this case is in poor shape. I did not see that. This it's a gamble, guys. When you buy a lot of video games, it's a gamble. This game is dusty. ATV Off-Road Fury. I'm starting to feel a little less confident in myself right now. <laughs> because I don't know if I'll be able to make all this back. Chrome of Narnia, Prince Caspian. The value is literally on the game and it is Damaged. Gosh dang. Regular Thrillville, and it has the Hollywood video sticker on it. It is complete. I remember seeing trailers for that game as a kid, and I really wanted it. Here we have. GoldenEye Rogue Agent. And it is not complete. If I were the seller, I would have given more photos on the jewel cases. Because that is kind of misleading. Especially when you're selling to the collectors and whatnot. Like when I post my stuff on eBay, or list them rather, I show their condition. In photos, I describe them in descriptions, I let people know that the games work, or they don't work, or that jewel cases are completely destroyed. Here we have Ratchet Deadlocked. I might hold on to this game, but I don't know, and it is not complete. Here we have Slide 2, Band of Thieves. A game not complete, not, doesn't have the manual. Unfortunately, I don't like the first game, but it's whatever. Gran Turismo 3, a spec. Not complete. This is the greatest, oh, it is the, I'm stupid. <laughs> Destroy all humans too. Make war, not love. <laughs> That's funny. Not complete. Dear God. This game has seen better days. Medal of Honor. This game isn't worth much either. I'm not even gonna bother. What? You check every game. It does have a disc. But I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave feedback saying, you know, that the jewel cases were broken, some of them are broken, because that honestly peeves me a little, because I paid a lot of my imparter money on this. I know I sound like a total jerk saying that because I bought all these games knowing the condition was used, but here's the thing, I was not told that these jewel cases were broken. And here we have Celebrity Deathmatch. Not complete. 
But that's not all, folks. We have more. These are disc only games. So here we have Conflict Desert Storm, another somewhat worthless game. 4x4, Evo, it's like some kind of racing game, I guess. Now this game is actually worth something, and I might play it because it looks very interesting. Okage Shadow King. And then we have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, and Guitar Hero 2. That's all she wrote. So I'll give you the estimated value as well as the round total of what I paid for. I paid a round total of $118 and the value of all these games is $190 at least. But unfortunately with some of the values in these games, I have no confidence that these will sell at the prices that I want them to, want to sell them for. But I'll look at the listing again and I'll see if I overlooked something, maybe I was, you know, stupid and didn't look close enough, but, oh well, stuff like that happens. Now I have all these games and I don't know what to do with them! Anyway, I know what I'm going to do with them. All these games are going to be up for sale, and some of these I'm going to try and get some sort of, I don't know, credit at my local game store that I don't know if I'll do that again unless I know for a fact I know what I'm getting because that just learn from me guys learn from my mistakes don't always buy a lot of games unless you know for a fact what their condition is because some of these jewel cases are broken some of them are torn and some of them are dirty or sticky it's just messed up. I feel like I've wasted my money. But I'll make it all back. I know I will. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends, please, and subscribe. I'm going broke because of this. <laughs> I'll see what I can do with these games. I'm gonna let that seller know that 25 to life is missing a disc, some of these jewel cases are broken, and some of them are sticky and dirty, because that should have been in the description. Maybe I'll get a small refund, because you know what they say on eBay, the customer is always right! <laughs> I don't want to take advantage of that, because I've had some rotten people, like one person. I will tell you a little story regarding one of my first sales. So, um, brace yourself, I guess. A bonus is something you didn't ask for. So, I was selling the Star Wars VHS tape. And, unfortunately, I did not know that you could print out labels. So, what I did is I would write the address down on a sheet of paper. Or print out something like that via the Microsoft Word program. Unfortunately, my brother also sold something that day. It was a lot of Beyblades that he sold for about $50 to $70, while I sold a VHS tape for about $5. And guess what happened? I mixed them up and sent that guy, the mean guy, the Beyblades, and you know what he did with them? He threw them out! Instead of, you know, like, sending them back out to me, and, you know, I could have contacted the other person saying, hey, we got a mix up. Can we, you know, like, I'll pay for everything. We can, you know, fix this. But nope, that guy was absolutely rude and decided to throw out the Beyblades, leave a negative feedback on my uh, page or whatever you call it. So I got my first negative feedback because of that. So, uh, that's what happened, but I won't get that mix-up happen, I won't let that happen ever again because I have my stuff organized, I know who is, who's going to what, 
and like that was just so such a that was such a rookie mistake. So guys, don't do that. Learn from this video and don't do what I did because unless you know what you're buying, then don't go for it because you might get broken jewel cases, you might have missing discs, which is absolutely stupid because 25 to life is supposed to have another disc and this isn't complete. The person said that these games were complete unless the disc is hiding under here. It is not. <sighs> Guys, am I a bad person for saying that I'm upset about all this? Because I am. But anyway, stay tuned for me to say nonsense from you truly. Give me a shout out, God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good